Hello students, my name is Jitesh Singla and I am lecturer in Electrical Engineering Department in Thapar Polytechnic College, Badiala. I am going to teach fundamentals of electrical engineering subject which is the main subject of third semester students. In this subject, we will study about the various fundamentals of basic electricity, basic electrical principles, AC principles, DC principles. In this video, I will discuss about the objective of the subject and what students will be able to learn after studying this subject. So I shall start with the objective of the subject. As for a diploma holder students in electrical engineering, it has become very important to know the fundamentals of the subject in order to know about the vast knowledge of the field. This subject will provide knowledge about with the knowledge with the various terms of fundamentals concepts of electricity, magnetism and various principles related to it. And what students will be able to learn after this lecture? After undergoing the subject, students will be able to understand the basics of electrical engineering. And understand the laws related to basic electrical engineering and students will be able to know how mechanical energy can be converted into electrical energy and last will be apply electromagnetic induction principles in different electrical machines so we will start with the first chapter which is introduction in which we will study about what are the advantages and applications of electrical energy so first of all we will discuss about the advantages of electrical energy as first point is it is the most convenient form of energy. How can we say that? Electricity is a very important, convenient form of energy as it can be converted into other forms of energy. For example, if we want to convert electrical energy into heat, electric, heat energy, then we can pass the electric current through a wire of high resistance in which as we use in the heater all right second point is electrical energy is very easy to handle what does it mean it can be handled very easily over a long distance through conductors of suitable size as you as we can see um, at the generating station we we generate electricity and through high voltage conductors we transmit over the long distances to distribute to the people moreover the control is very easy is very simple we can say being through a switch which can be easily operated switching it on and off It is required to just press the switch third is economical 
economical means it is more economical than the other forms of energy electricity we can say electricity can be easily and cheaply produced so fourth is no fumes or poisonous gases electricity electrical energy is not associated with any smoke fumes or poisonous gases therefore it can be safely used in domestic and industrial purposes or we can say commercial purposes next is cleanliness electricity is a very clean form of energy as compared to other forms of energy its use is on ever increasing next is more efficient electrical energy is the most efficient energy which is used in so many appliances as we can see electrical appliances are very efficient there are very few losses in the electrical appliances next is easy to operate as we earlier discussed <clears throat> we can easily operate any electrical appliances through simpler switches circuit breakers that's why electrical energy is very easy to use or to operate next we will discuss about the applications of electrical energy first is heating as we people can see in our homes where we use electric press heater toaster electric kettle uh, etc there are so many appliances in which electricity is being used for heating purposes one of the most important applications of electricity is its use for heating purposes in the domestic and industrial fields in all the electric heating appliances heating energy is converted into heat by passing an electric current through a wire of high resistance as i said earlier in the first example we can pass electric current through a wire of high resistance which will be able to produce heat as i already given the examples electric press heaters coffee makers geysers and if we want to say examples in industrial electric furnaces so that's it second is lighting other important application of electricity is its use for lighting purposes in which electrical energy is converted into light by utilizing the effects of electricity for example in domestic applications we can see various appliances which produce like uh, which which convert electrical energy into light energy for example electric bulbs tubes fluorescent tubes discharge lamps ceiling lights leds in industrial applications arc lamps cinema projectors there are so many examples third is electric motors 
so main application of electricity is its use for running electric motors in industrial use in all electrical motors electrical energy is converted directly into mechanical energy first of all we discuss electrical energy converted into heat energy second is lighting third is mechanical as we can see examples of domestic applications appliances sorry hair dryers juicer mixer refrigerators ceiling fan uh, table fan washing machine etc in an in industry we can see lifts cranes concrete mixtures lathe machines etc fourth is electroplating as most of the people know about the electroplating process electricity is used for the process of electroplating in which what we do coating a layer of superior metal over a inferior metal as we can see number of things coming in the market which are silver coated gold coated gold plated for example domestic tin tin plating utensils uh, industrial examples nickel plating vehicles watch cases we can say next is electronics there are so many electronic equipments uh, in today's world all the electronic devices require electricity for their operation as we know for example domestic we can say radio set television laptops mobiles there are so many examples in industry we can say computers amplifiers automatic control system oscilloscopes next is miscellaneous as electricity is vastly used in every field in every in every location we can say a uh, number of equipments a uh, number of applications i can say like battery charging electric traction welding tape recorders so many things so these were the advantages and applications of electrical energy so next is different forms of energy so in this we will discuss from where we can produce electrical energy as first is energy from water what does it mean potential energy of the water collected at higher level or the kinetic energy of water flowing at a high velocity can be used to run the turbines potential energy of water collected at higher level or the kinetic energy of the flowing kinetic energy of the water flowing at high velocity can be used to run the turbines so these turbines are known as hydraulic turbines or generators are coupled to these turbines which convert mechanical energy into electrical energy
fuel second is fuel fuel can be of any type like first is solid fuels second is liquid fuels third is gaseous fuels fuels can be in any form solid fuels we see uh, coal which is available in nature in a very huge quantity so by the combustion of coal in the boiler we produce we convert water into steam steam then utilized to run the steam turbines with to which generators are coupled then again with the help of coupled generators electrical energy is generated so second is liquid fuels for example in which diesel is the most common fuel which is used to produce electricity uh, in this also a generator is also is coupled to the diesel engine which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy third is in 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 fuel third is gaseous form as we can say natural gas which is also used to run the gas turbines in which steam is produced which is used to run the turbines in in this generation of electricity a generator is coupled to the tur turbine to generate electrical energy third is nuclear energy in this process the heavy substance is used to produce electricity in which fission reaction takes place that uh, the fission reaction of uranium which is utilized for conversion of water into steam then steam is utilized to drive steam turbines in this system a generator is also coupled to the turbine to generate electrical energy fourth is sun panel of solar cells convert solar energy directly into electrical energy usually for direct energy conversion solar cells are used if we require more energy gen electrical energy generation we can use solar arrays which means number of solar cells are connected together to generate more electrical power fifth, fifth is wind wind pressure is developed due to heating and cooling of the atmosphere i think hundred of windmills have been set up in india to generate electrical energy windmills used nowadays change with directly wind energy into electrical energy in which generators are coupled with the turbines which are wind turbines which are moved through the blades of the windmill next is geothermal geothermal is a energy which is derived from the surface of the earth in which in this kind of energy heat is derived within the surface of earth water and steam water or steam carry the geothermal energy to the earth's surface depending on its characteristics geothermal can be used for heating 
and cooling purposes or can be harnessed to generate clean electricity so, biomass as we know biomass contains chemical energy it can be burned to give energy you might have been people in you might have seen people in villages burning cow dung cakes as fuel it is not preferred due to health hazard better method is that's why a better method is used to convert biomass into a biogas thank you